What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. After learning how to place tags on our rooms, so this time around, so let's complete the tagging in our floor plan here. So we're gonna put tags on our doors, uh, windows, and walls, okay? So if you remember last time, for you to be able to place the tags all at once without selecting it one by one, so we are going to use here this tool from the annotate tab remember this one tag all net tag okay so you can also use this one to tag it one by one just like what we did last time on our uh, room tags exercise as well as the tag all net tag okay so for this one to make this exercise quickly so i'm just gonna use tag all net tag for my doors and windows all right so let's get this started so i'm gonna select here tag all net tag Click that one, and then from the tag, all not tagged uh, dialog box. So we are going to select the category that we would like to uh, put tags on our elements, which is our door tags. We want the door tags, and then we also want the window tags. If you have a tag loaded inside your project, let's say, for example, for your door tag, you can find it here on the loaded tags. So there's the door tag. You can click that. You can click the drop down arrow. So if you have other tags loaded for your door, okay? Same with the window. So if you have other tags for your window, you can select it from here, okay? But for this exercise, I only have one tag here, one door tag family, and then one window tag family, Okay, so you can also specify here if you would like to have a leader line when you place the tag. So in my case, I'm just going to make it uh, uncheck. So I don't want to have any leader line. So I'm just going to select here, apply, and then, okay, so that's it. So we know this already. All right, so as you can see, we now have our tags for the doors as well as on our uh, windows, right? And then just a quick note here, you will notice this area here, the door here doesn't have any tag. So if I'm going to select this area here using window selection, and then I'll be using here the selection box. Okay, let me select that one and then click outside, right click, zoom to fit. Okay, so I have this uh, door here. So that particular door is not actually the normal uh, door family like this one. So this is our normal door family wherein we can just simply place that on our wall. But you will notice this door here, this door here, this is not our normal door because this door is a curtain wall type of door. That's why there is no automatic uh, tag place on our door here because it's not uh, specified when we place this curtain wall type of door on our curtain wall here okay so there's the curtain wall and then we place the curtain wall type door so there is no uh, mark that is assigned to this door okay compared to the other normal door and tags that we have here Okay, so that's why what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it manually. So to this this door here, if I click this, you will notice that the mark here is 129. So that is the assigned number here. Now for this one, if I click this door, so there's no mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. So this is a 130 area. So I'm going to type here 130A and then I'll just select your apply. And there you go. So I now have here my... Uh, door tag okay so just to let you know so that's how your uh, curtain wall type of door works when you tag it so at first there is no mark there so you need to put it manually okay anyway you can still click that door tag and then you can click that if you want to change it so if you change this one automatically this mark here will change as well will follow what you have key in here so vice versa right Okay, so after that, so let us quickly place some tags on our uh, wall. So let's say, for example, on my cafeteria, I want to put a tag here. I want to put a tag, let's say, to this wall here. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to put one tag. So to do that, I'll just select here 
tag by category, this icon, and then this icon from your annotate tab, annotate tab, tag by category, and then this icon here. It's just the same, okay? So, on our quick access toolbar, this is where you can see all the uh, frequently used tools. That's why our tag is here. Okay, alongside with the distance measure, the dimension, the text, the 3D view, and then the section, thin line. So these are the tools that we frequently use. That's why it's here on our quick access toolbar. And one of them is our tag. So you can also type TG as a shortcut for your tag. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to hover my pointer and then I'm going to pick my wall here, this one. Okay, as you can see, there is no uh, tag mark that is assigned to this wall yet. But it's all right, so I'm, I'm going to click this, and then I'll select your modify. Okay, there you go. And then let's say this will going to be, I will call this uh, uh, type A wall. So I'm going to select this tag. I'm going to click that question mark. I'm going to type here A, oops, capital A, and then enter. And then there is this warning, you are changing a type parameter. This could affect many elements. So I'm just going to select your yes to continue. Okay, so just click that one. There you go. Okay, so if I'm going to tag, let's say, for example, this wall here, expect that you will be having a type A wall for this one because if I'm going to select this one, as you can see, that is generic 5 inches. And this is also generic 5 inches okay so let's click the tag here and then there you go so that's what i'm talking about and so on and so forth so basically that's how you uh, put your tags to your walls to your doors and to your window okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day